What's up everybody? Cody here. Today we are going to Epcot. It's gonna be fun. Haven't filmed in about a week. The videos are behind. Sorry. But we're with Skylar. He's over here being a weirdo like always. But he's never actually been to Epcot. Okay. So we're gonna jump over there and ride a couple rides at Epcot, have some fun, maybe eat some food have a drink or two, and then just live life, you know? Life of a Florida Disney cast member. All three of us are cast members now. So yes. yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yes. I love it. Yes, queen. Yes, girl. Are we gonna have fun today, you guys? Yes! Yeah! Yes. All right, everybody, so we're gonna get in, get past security, get past bag check, and then gonna jump on something, don't know. Not high, it's agents. It's a slow movie. It's something you guys want. So everybody, how was that little ride on Nemo and Friends? That's also an awesome ride. It's good for when it's hot out. So you go in there, ride it, cool down, look at the aquarium area, and then you head off to World Showcase to go drink. It's always a good thing to do when you first get here besides, you know, Spaceship Earth. But we didn't do that today. We're gonna do that tonight when we leave. So be sure to watch the, re the whole video to catch Spaceship Earth. Forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world. The U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. Right? No, this is where they really do 
The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, sloppy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. Up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Mm. Sugar cane, yeah, that's going in the back. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. So that was a quick little trip on to living with the land. Always a good ride. We were making fun because just a few days ago, somebody on TikTok posted that they stole a cucumber from living with the land. Of all things, a cucumber, really? But now we're going on to Soren. Skylar's never been on Soren before. And it's gonna be his first time. I'm excited, I love Soren. I love the smells, it's amazing. And I'm taking you guys along with me.
behalf of our entire flight crew. Thanks for soaring with us. Alrighty, everybody. So we're gonna jump out of Epcot, jump on the Skyliner over to the Riviera, and we're gonna eat at Primo Piatto, the Riviera quick service, and then possibly ride the Skyliner all the way around. I don't. We don't know yet. Or come back here if it's before 10 o'clock and ride more ride more rides. Because Skyler over here still has to go on a bunch of rides here at Epcot. So it's gonna be fun. He's never been on the Skyline either, so I'm excited to see his reactions. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Alright, so we went over to get on the Skyliner and it is currently not operating right now. This one's ignoring you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize he had the camera. And so we're kind of sad about that, but we're gonna head over to Regal Eagle in the American Pavilion and eat. She's never been there. I've never been there. Skylar's never been to Epcot, so yeah. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go try to ride Test Track. And then I might take Skylar on Mission Space, depending on the time, the time frame. So when we get over there and get our food, I'll show you guys what we get, how good it tastes, the price, and just give you a rundown. Alrighty, everybody, so we just got our food. Haley went to go get some drinks. Skylar went to go get his drink. I got the barbecue burger with a side of fries. And Haley got the pork butt with mac and cheese and house pickles. Let me swing the camera around and show you guys what they look like. So here's mine. It comes with a burger patty, some of that, uh, pork. And then this is what hers looks like. And she got the mac and cheese. My fries. Oh, he got the banana and Skylar got the banana pudding, you guys. Skylar came to a burger to a barbecue place and got just a regular burger. When he could have barbecue pork, barbecue ribs, anything. But this stuff looks delicious. We're gonna dig into it afterwards. I'm gonna tell you guys how it all is. Oh my goodness, those house-made pickles are delicious. If you guys are ever here at Epcot, come to Regal Eagle in the American Pavilion and get yourself some of the house-made pickles at Regal Eagle. They are delicious. All right, everybody, so we got done eating and now we are in line for Frozen Ever After. So the food was good. It was actually really good barbecue. Um, my burger was delicious. Those house-made uh, pickles were amazing. Like I said, if you ever come to Epcot, go ahead and jump into Regal Eagle, grab you some good food. Um, Haley and I, we paid about $36 altogether. They don't do cast member discounts and they don't do, well, they do do annual pass order discounts, but I didn't forget, I didn't think about it. Thank you. So, yeah, now we're in line for Frozen Ever After. We're gonna jump on this. And that'll be the last thing we do tonight because it's 9.35 and it's a 55 minute wait. So I'm gonna take you guys along on the adventure, let you see Frozen Ever After. And then we'll go say goodnight to Judy after that. It's time for Frozen!
That was a fun ride on Frozen Ever After. I love it. So the wait time said 55 minutes. It was roughly about 35 to 40. Always, you know, cut a little bit off of the wait time. They're just overestimating a little bit. We all do it. And I want to give a shout out to these awesome people that we met in line, Cody and Crystal. It was awesome meeting you guys. Glad to see your subscribers. Glad to see that you recognize me. And we're going to go jump in front and yeah, go see if we can ride Mission, uh, Spaceship Earth. See if we can get in, possibly. It is after park close, so probably not. But we're gonna see. Yep. Alrighty, everybody. That was a great day at Epcot. We had a lot of fun. Met some awesome people today. Shout out to you guys again. Cody and Krista, it was good meeting you guys. Yeah. And we had a ride Frozen, Soarin', Living with the Land. What else did we ride? Nemo and friends. Yeah. It was so fun today, you guys. And we got to eat, eat Regal, Regal Eagle. Eagle. For the first oh. time. It was very good. The food at Regal Eagle. It was amazing, you guys. You have to come try the food at Regal Eagle. I promise you. You will not be disappointed if you like barbecue. Skylar's back there just looking around. Man. I think he's ready to go home. Yeah, I think Skylar's ready to go home. Sorry. <laughs> So, that will do it for us today here from Epcot, you guys. Tomorrow, we're going to be at Hollywood Studios for the day. We're taking this one for the first time to Studios. This one hasn't been in a while. I just went not too long ago. And we're going to have some fun. It'll be after 3, so I won't be able to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding group or anything. But we're going to do a lot of different stuff for you guys. So, until next time, y'all, see you real soon. Bye!